my first tattoo I got when I was about 15, I think, uh, on a school trip to Paris. And it wasn't something I, I thought about before. Me and a friend just went into the shop and said, that's what we're gonna have. And then we, we just got it. Uh, and actually, I, I still got it. Uh, so it wasn't that bad. That's one cockadoodle, dude. But that's gonna fucking hurt so bad. Ami is doing the uh, the lava birds uh, on my fingers. Uh, that's a symbol of uh, of Liverpool. I, I, I see that's one piece. You know, when I speak to people, I, I talk about my tattoo. You know, that's one piece. Uh, but obviously, every every tattoo has a story. Um, some stories are better than others. What is that? Y N W A? Yes. You know, walk alone. The, the timing was quite good. There was a lot of rumors uh, sending me to another club for a lot of money and I knew inside myself that I was staying. Somehow I, I wanted to show that uh, to the world, to the footballing world, and, and, and this was a way to show it. Uh, or you got it tattooed while you were supposed to be traded maybe? Where they had a big possibility to sell me for a lot of money. Uh, I got it done uh, just two or three days before the transfer window closed and I basically closed all the talk with that. How many years did you play for Liverpool? Almost nine years, you know, so okay. it's not only it's not only the club, it's also the city, it's everything about it, you know. So I still miss Liverpool, you know, as a football club but also as as a city. But it looks good, bro. There it is. Hope they don't fight. You need to put something in the middle. Like a bowl of food or something. <laughs> This is Ami James and Danny Agar, and then I just did the Liverpool tattoo. And if you want to check it out, go on the Tattoo Duo app and download and check out this tattoo.